Um, honestly, I just think uh, we, we settled down. Um, that's what it just goes back to. And I think we just um, started playing more of our brand of football. But at the end of the day, still wasn't enough to get the job done. So that's what it is. <clears throat> We're glad I can see, you know, emotion as you're sitting there and right now. What are you feeling after that was over? Yeah, man, you know, first and foremost, hats off to those guys. Uh, they got the job done, but I just think uh, – it's not, not getting the job done and just knowing the potential um, and the guys that you have in the locker room. And, you know, we all put so much on the line, uh, just like anyone else. Uh, and just to uh, let ourselves down in that position, uh, it sucks. And just knowing how close we were to what we really wanted. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And it's just got to add more fuel to the uh, few, add more fuel to you at the end of the day. And that's how I'm taking it. So that's what it's going to be. But definitely, uh, it definitely sucks and hurts. Yeah, Rip, 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 I guess what was the plan to, to stop Kelsey and what went wrong if you can diagnose it this, this soon? Yeah, no, I thought we uh, we did a great job uh, in the second half of just like being us and, you know, um, the plan is to stop the Chiefs, you know, and he's definitely a big uh, corporate. He's a he's a big part of that. Him and my home, so um, that's that's part of the plan. It was first foremost stopping the run game, and then um, going on um, with that. But uh, he made some plays throughout the game, um, and we just didn't make enough plays on defense. It's never about uh, the other side. It's more about us, and that's how I look at it, and that's how I take it personally. Brooklyn, even <coughs> early on when they, they've scored a couple times, they converted a, a boatload of third downs. I mean, how frustrating is it to put them in those positions and just not being able to quite get off the field like that? No, it's definitely uh, very frustrating. Um, like you know, having them in a position that you would want someone in, and not being able to capitalize on that as a defense, and that's something that you prepare for week in and week out, day in and day out. And you know, hats off to those guys for being able to capitalize and getting the job done. And it's just we we didn't get the job done, so that's what it is in a nutshell. So just gotta grind and do whatever it is. Like I always say, chin up, chest out. Like can't drop your head, you know, because that's not going to do anything at the end of the day. So just got to hang your hat on, you know, everything that you have done uh, in this life uh, and see, see, see what comes from it in a sense. Does that process start right away for you or do you, do you kind of live with the pain of this for a little while and then start to think about how you, how you build on it? Well, I don't think there's a proper way proper way to like deal with whatever emotions you're dealing with because every human being is different. Like you're different from me and everyone else. We're one in I don't know trillion or something like that. The chances of being a human. So um, when you think about it from that perspective, everyone's mindset is different. Uh, I know personally, it definitely sucks. Um, you know, it sucks coming in here too. You know, uh, definitely wishing the results was a lot different. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, and it's not about you know what happens to you in life. It's about more so how you respond. So I think that's just what each and every individual has to uh, ask themselves and tell themselves on like, and, well, answer to themselves. Um, you know, we saw it in the second half, obviously, but what do you think really made this, this year's defense special? And does it add to kind of what you're feeling when you think about the window that you guys had with, with this historic defense? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I have an immense amount of respect for, you know, every single guy that stepped on the field with me uh, this year on the defensive side of the ball, just knowing all that we've been through, guys that was injured, uh, got injured, IR, guys injured, came back. And I just know I just know what it means to, like, actually have in my short, like, six years in the game, like, just having, like, a group of, like, truly unselfish dudes. Dudes don't really care who gets the credit. All celebrate one another. And, like, it's hard to find that in, like, football, let alone in life because, you know, most human beings are selfish in your own way, even though you may not may not know it. And just like seeing how many selfless guys and willing to put it all on the line for one another, it just it inspires you. And it definitely that's part of part of what sucks for me, just knowing each and every guy, like how we all, you know, roll together, do do whatever for each other, and to like just let ourselves down like that, it sucks. So that's definitely a part of the emotions that you know you feel in a sense, but. At the end of the day, it's life, and how are you going to respond? Um, 
when you get, uh, you know, hit in the mouth in a sense, uh, get hit in the mouth, how are you going to respond? You know, everyone has a plan, but the plan didn't go uh, as it should have for us. But hats off to those guys for uh, getting the job done at the end of the day. Real two more for a quiet role. Obviously, Lamar is, you know, had an NFL MVP season like would be named it, but, you know, there will be some, you know, questions and, and comments when the offense only is able to score 10 points. What do you, what do you say, you know, about Lamar and, and kind of the, the season they had, even though he came up short today? There's always going to be questions, comments, opinions. You know, that's that's just with humans that can speak and have a mouth. That's most people are going to do that day in and day out. So, you know, who cares? Honestly, that's how I think about it. I really don't really care about the opinions of him nor the team. At the end of the day, he's the leader uh, of this team, lead the offense, led the offense all year long. So it's nothing, you know, dropping our head about. Like, we didn't get the job done at the end of the day. So that's truly what it is. It's not pointing fingers at the end of the day. We didn't get the job done as a team. Defense, you have the mindset, don't score, don't win. You know, offense have the mindset, put points on the board. So that's what it is. So it's like all point fingers at uh, each 11 of us on the offensive side of the ball as well on the defensive side of the ball. It's no one man, one man short by any means. It's a team thing. It's a team that gets the job done. Last one. Um, given what you just said about the guys and the MVP, to, to get to this point in the emotion that you're, you're showing now, um, how hard will this be for you to get over? It's definitely, it's definitely tough, man. And like you know, I, I talk with so many guys across the league, uh, as well as guys inside of the locker room. And, you know, guys that's been, you know, like talking with Clowney, been in the game 10 years, like, and never really been in this position, like me, first time, like, in six years in the game. And when you just think about how hard it is to, like, <clears throat> excuse me, to make it back to this position, knowing all the adversity, the obstacles that you have to go through to get to this point, it sucks. And, like, you, you just you really think about it, like, it's tough because there's a lot of things that has to go your way in order for you to get here. And... For us, like busting our tails day in and day out since OTAs with the coaches, you know, with each other, like having the attendance we had and like just knowing how each and every person cared about one another, man, it, it sucks. And like, you know, it's definitely going to add fuel uh, in the off season as well as uh, in the season coming up uh, next year. But like, you know, it sucks and it's just going to, you know, make you go harder because at the end of the day, didn't have enough to get the job done, and that's that's truly what it what it boils down to. So I think each and every guy gonna look themselves in the mirror, like always, and like what can what could I have done better? And like myself personally, like what could I have done better? Because there's plays out there I wish I could have done better on, in a sense. So it's just all about looking at yourself and saying how are you gonna respond. And I think that's the ultimate, like. That's the ultimate decision every human has, has to make in tough situation. It's not about dropping your head. It's about raising it high. And whatever it is, you got to go through. Chin up, chest out. Sunsets, no regrets. Like, at the end of the day, and you know, we'll be back. But it's going to be a process, and we're going to bust our ass. I know personally I'm going to bust my ass and taking this personal to, like, get to where we need to go. And that's all it is that need to be said. But hats off to those guys again. Thanks for watching.